Welcome everybody, my name is Ivan. Let's talk about the Rabbit R1, our brand new virtual assistant. Are we ready? Is it there? Can we can we actually move on with our lives and have something that can save us time in our daily tasks? Is this the device? It looks cool, it it's new. Is this it? Let's talk about it. I'm excited about it, you guys. I'm actually excited about it. All right, let's 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 compare it to the AI pen because the AI pen just released and it was a disaster of an unveiling. It was an absolute disaster. It was $800, 24 bucks a month. Couldn't do any of the things that, they, that the company promised they were going to do. And it was the slowest thing on the planet. But it also... Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, the Rabbit R1 comes at $200, right? $200, no subscription, here you go. It's plasticky, it's orange, it's fun, and it's just like, hey, this is just a little assistant for you. They saw how the AI pen was received. They were way over-promising everything and under-delivered on almost everything, right? The most disastrous thing you can possibly do to a consumer, not great. These guys are going at it the opposite way. They are under promising and trying to deliver some. So if it breaks, I'm gonna try one more time. If it breaks multiple times, we're gonna fix it, okay? Right, they're hoping they're gonna deliver a lot, but even if they deliver some, they're not really promising a lot, so people can't really be mad. And the price tag, you can't really be mad at the price tag either. I'm sorry, but price tags on things matter. $700 is a lot of money, so you get judged on that. These guys are getting judged on a $200 price tag. It matters. I'm sorry, but I love that orange. I want that thing just because it's like orange is my color, you guys. You don't understand. Like I saw the this color of this, this gadget. And I'm like, I want it based on the color alone. I don't even care if it does three things. Right now, the way it sits, I like this thing a thousand times better than the AI pen. It is what it is. It's fun, right? It's just it's just a super fun little gadget. Actually, the, the biggest competition for these AI assistants is still our phone. Is it easier for you, for this AI assistant, to do the task that I'm asking to do versus me asking on the phone? That's what it co comes down to. Can I do it? And is, is it easier? And what is the friction to get there, right? These these new devices coming out, they are versions version ones. And we should expect them to be missing, you know, many, many features that a complete AI device would eventually have but right now we're not there they might be missing a target audience in all honesty if if you think about it now this thing is plastic bright orange cool easy to use right button got the got, got the button got the scroll wheel got the flip camera uh the, the little screen this thing would be perfect for kids this thing will be perfect for kids for kids you that you don't want to have a phone yet but you kind of want them to like learn some stuff they can literally point this at anything be like hey what is this oh this is a microphone pointed at that oh this is a, that's a laptop make a kid version put a couple games on it put a little virtual pet in there and you have a winner honestly you have a winner you don't need them that much in order to win people over with a 200 price tag and a quirky look so this is like this so this is the way i think these devices actually break into the market they don't need to be an everything ai device they need to be a let's say a few awesome tasks ai device right because it puts the focus on what is what this thing is awesome at if it focuses on just doing a few things really 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 well that's sort of like you know assistant like that the phones are not that great at this is how you win over by doing a few things really 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 well come on bring it let's see what you let's see what you guys have you've heard it before <laughs> buy the product based on what it is today and not what it's promised to be in the future 